All right, so today we are going to talk about tungsten processing. This should be your main first step because tungsten is needed for smelters and smelters will make your life way easier. Anybody that's used to GT5 or 4 or any of the others will think that tungsten is the end of your line, the last thing you need. On GT6, everything's been flipped. Tungsten is actually one of the first metals that you're going to need once you get past steel. So, there are three machines you will need for this. A bath, a dryer, a regular mixer if you're playing GT6, a heat mixer if you're playing with GT6U. Now, what we have done here is we have a hopper set to 6, a hopper set to 7. All of our tungsten bearing ores will go in this main one that's set to 6. Tungstate is the only one that needs to go in the seven. Those will come into the bath with hydrochloric acid. That will then be turned into tungstic acid. And whichever of these come out of it, these will be processed later. We'll explain that down the line. And the tungstic acid comes into the dryer. Now we have used a filter here that is set for tungstic acid, which there we go. So only the tungstic acid can come into this chest. The dryer is very slow compared to the bath and the mixer. So you need a buffer. Uh, eventually, we will probably change this chest out for a mass storage. Now, you will notice that our pipe here goes up one, past the filter, back and down and into here. Pipes run on a closest to furthest, so by doing this we only need one item filter and everything that's not the tungstic acid dust will come right into there now eventually we will have smelters set up for all of those except for one we'll get to that later and so we will have item filters on those for that and that'll be a different tutorial now after you have your tungstic acid dust here, it needs to come over to or through that dryer, which will make tungstic trioxide dust and some water distilled. And that tungstic trioxide will need to come over here to the heat mixer. Now this is the exact same recipe in the mixer or in the heat mixer. It all depends on which GT6 you're using. So you need to run hydrogen with your tungsten trioxide and that will give you tungsten and water. So you'll see we have that set up here. And we just have a electric dynamo that is powered by a gas turbine down here. If you're doing GT6, you'll not have the gas turbine. So you will need a steam turbine with a bronze boiler to power this. You only need 16 EU. And if you're doing the GT6 route, 
you will only need the turbine, you won't need the dynamo. And you'll get 16 RU for that. So, on the back side, there is our tungsten dust. And that is what's needed for making a tungsten crucible, which is needed to make the smelter. So, that is it. That is how to make tungsten. Very simple, very easy. Three machines, and you're good. The only other thing you will need is an electrolyzer with water to make your hydrogen. Very simple setup. Dynamo. Again, we're in GT6U now, so we have a gas turbine. But you can do the exact same setup for this that I explained for over here. Except for this one, you definitely need the dynamo. And you can either run it with a selector tag of zero for just hydrogen and oxygen. Or if you're preparing for aluminum, you will want to put rock salt or regular salt in here. Get sodium or potassium hydroxide. And we will get into what that's needed for in the next tutorial. So, see you guys there for making aluminum. Have a good one.